What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Existential Stoic Podcast. This is our quick fix today, episode 106, because we're starting to number correctly. <laughs> today, we're going to talk about how to find meaning in life. It's a short episode. We'll each give you a few tips um, to address this issue. But, you know, why, why do we need meaning in life? Why is this issue important, you think? I think this is one of the most commonly sought after things that people are looking for is just how to find meaning in life. (laughs) And oftentimes people get to a point where, you know, they have an existential crisis where life just doesn't have a meaning and it becomes really hard to live at those times. So, you know, people are always searching for meanings. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I think I think you're right. I think it's like, you know, if we don't have meaning, we can't make things intelligible. We can't make sense of it. And the suffering seems worse, right? <laughs> or the struggles that we go through are worse when we can't explain them. So I think that's a good point. Um, yeah, so we each have three tips. I'm going to go first. Um, my first one is, uh, so in the Geonjian morality, Nietzsche tells us that the basic fact of human will is it needs a goal. It would sooner will nothingness and not will. And I think, you know, his point here is really simple, is that, you know, we do create meaning through goals, right? <laughs> when we set ourselves goals and we achieve things, it makes our actions purposeful, intentional, and that gives us, you know, a reason to keep going and a meaning for our existence. That's a really good one. I was just listening to uh, uh, Dale Carnegie's book, Stop Wearing and Start Living. And he says <laughs> that the, the number one cause for most people having uh, worrying too much or having any type of melancholy or anything like that was having too much time on their hands, <laughs> like not having <laughs> something that they're up to. And so, yeah, keeping busy. Yeah, it makes having, sense. Yeah, having direction and purpose. Uh, so my first one is because I've been in this situation many times where it's like, what's the meaning in my life? What am I supposed to be doing? Nothing okay. excites me. <laughs> I, and it's just like, it's tough because it's a, it's a hard spot to be in. You don't want to be in that uncomfortable spot of almost being bored with life. And so the que- and instead of trying to figure out like, what's my life supposed to mean? I think a more helpful question is, what could make you excited and it's what could so not what's going to make you excited right now but what could because that can help give you like the little hint towards the desire you want to go after and i think that thing is kind of giving you the what you actually want in life because it's those things that you want in life that are actually kind of proof that they're already yours you just need to go and get them but sometimes they're like hidden in a cloud and especially when you're in a bad headspace it can be really hard to find. So I think that first helpful hint is just what can, what could get you excited and then go in that direction and you'll be able to see a little bit further after. That. Yeah, I really like that one too. Cause you know, and, and you make the important point that it's like the phrasing matters. <laughs> like how you actually word the question makes all the difference by saying, could, you know, it's like more you're, you're engaging your imagination and letting yourself sort of just run free with it. And that hopefully will give you more ideas too, to help you understand your life and make sense of it. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. Like that. Um, my second one, cause I went with a theme of quotes today is uh, Gandhi tells us to be the change we want to see in the world. And I, I like this one cause it reminds us to be an example that sometimes, you know, when we struggle with meaning, maybe we're looking outside or we're looking for something, you know, beyond ourselves, instead of thinking about how we can be, you know, an example in the world or we can be, you know, basically, give meaning to the world through our actions, right? And through how we conduct ourselves. Yeah, that's really important, especially nowadays. Like you just mentioned, (laughs) we're always looking for other people to solve the problems. Like we're looking for Elon Musk to solve the problems or we're looking for Bill Gates to solve the problems or the president to solve the problems. And it's like, literally, if you just solve all of your own problems, that's all you got to do. You don't have any problems then. And we don't, don't even need a government at that point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Ain't> nothing. <laughs> don't need it. Yeah. That's a great one. Uh, so my second one is on your deathbed, what matters? So like finding meaning in life, I always look, I imagine what my life is going to be like on my deathbed. And I look back and I try and imagine myself now and be like, okay, I had this, uh, this fork in the road. And like, what, what actually matters? Like, what am I happy that I did? Because oftentimes it's, it's like, there's an uncomfortable choice. Like there's something that I want, but it's uncomfortable. And it's like, when I'm, when I'm on my deathbed, am I going to look back and be like, oh, 
that's the time you stopped because you were uncomfortable <laughs> or am i going to be like no you had yeah. to do it because that's what you really wanted even though it sucked for a long time that was worth it all the way so i think that's a really helpful in giving you the perspective to see beyond the pain and the discomfort of the moment no, I really like that too. It takes you out of the moment, right? It makes you look at really what, what values matter to you instead of what maybe matters most in this moment, given your current feelings and circumstances or what have you, right? You're looking at the broader picture. And I like it too, because it actually gets us to really exercise that imagination. Like it's one of our strongest, I think it's like one of our strongest aspects or faculties, right? That we're able to imagine and kind of have experiences or think of things even when we're not really living through them and that gives us all this information that we can use to then navigate the world it's a good one our, like, our brain is a curious thing because whatever we <laughs> think we are you know we are yeah it's, it's like it's not I heard, I heard this saying you're not who you think you are who you think or no you're not what you think you are what you think you are <laughs> there you <laughs> so go, it's yeah. like it's like a weird <laughs> crazy thing that your mind does but yeah it's true though because you make everything you know you interpret everything in those terms so make, yeah it makes total sense mm-hmm. um my last one is from actually uh the book of how to find uh, about meaning in life which is by victor franklin he says you know he says when we're no longer able to change a situation we're challenged to change ourselves and a lot of people probably know this quote it's a good one though because i think again it points out to the, the control we have right that if you're always looking outside of yourself you're always relying on other things. You're never going to have that meaning, that purpose in life. It's got to actually come from you. So if you're facing a difficult situation, if you don't like how things are going, it's up to you then to make something change and to make it meaningful or to make the changes that would give your life meaning. Definitely. Definitely. Which uh, that kind of, that kind of goes along with my third one, uh, nice. which is the, finding meaning in your life is really whatever you're doing right now that is meaningful as as mundane as it may seem as uninteresting it may seem that's actually where you are right now and like we've talked about this a lot uh where we always think you know once i'm somewhere else then i'll be happier once i'm once i'm somewhere else then it'll be better but it's like wherever you go there you are and so really and, and we, we do this with this feeling of importance in our life. Like, how can my life be meaningful? What do I have to yeah. do to make my life meaningful? And so we're searching for all these things out there. But really, the only place we ever are is right here. So if we just take the, take the viewpoint that where we are right here, this is meaningful. And, you know, put all of our effort and our energy into this. On the journey to where we want to be, we can actually have a meaningful life. Yeah, I like that, too, because, you know, it's funny. I think a lot of us get caught up in thinking of, like, these grand things as being the only source of meaning. Like, oh, you know, when I get this really great award or I get this really great achievement, that's when I'll, I'll have value or meaning. But we forget that it's all those little things, all the collective moments that are meaningful and they're all and necessary. It's, <laughs> like, and it's and it's like the mundane stuff, the routine, yeah. like that's the very, very difficult. That's the hardest part, I think. Oh, God. Yeah, it's like, it is. It's we, definitely we talked about. We talked about how like the best performing athletes and everything, they're just very, very good at being bored at doing the same thing over Mm -hmm. and over again. And I think that's something that I struggle with a lot. And probably a lot of people struggle with is like, do you're like, but I've been doing the same job for five years or for 10 years or for 20 years, you know, nine to five every day, traffic both ways. And it's like, yeah, but look at what you're being able to do out of that. You're providing for a family, you know, you're living, you're living the life of your dream. Maybe not all of it, but, you know, on the weekends, you get to do the stuff you love to do. And so it's like, it's that, you know, it's that mundane stuff that kind of gets you there, but you have to suffer through it sometimes. Well, like you just said too, right? It gets you to think of gratitude as well and being grateful for the stuff you usually are probably taking for granted. Mm-hmm. So there you go, right? I mean, I think that's, that's awesome. So everybody should be able to find meaning in their lives now, right? <laughs> solve. This is Problem sh- solved. It's solved. Uh, it's always solved. We solve them so fast. So this is a short, quick fix, um, you know. If you guys are watching us on YouTube, listen to us on all the podcasts, uh, you know, wherever you get podcasts. If you're listening, check us out on YouTube. Um, Please like, subscribe, share with a friend that helps us out a lot. And, uh, you know, we're back later this week with another full length episode. Until then, though, later, Andy. Later, Danny. All right.
All right, it's time to record.